Good morning, John. Thank you so much for your video on Monday. It felt like there was this hole and Nerdfighteria had been asking us this question for so long and we had left it unanswered and it felt very... it felt kind of wrong. It felt kind of like a gap in our body of work. And it points out that often uh, asking questions about the questions that we want to ask is far more useful than answering the questions themselves. So for example, interesting question about the phrase belief in God. More words that are hard to define in that sentence than words that are easy to define. For example, God even people who go to the same church, ostensibly believe in the same God, all have different visions of what God is in their head. Everyone is always going to have a slightly different perception of what that thing, he, she, it is. But at the same time, it's a very particular thing to each particular person. And then you have the word belief. Interestingly, uh, the question of what the difference between belief and knowledge is, is not just a philosophical question, it is an entire branch of philosophy called epistemology. So obviously, uh, not something to cover in a video blog, but the longest running definition is that knowledge is belief that is true. Which is kind of strange to get your head around, which is why there's an entire branch of philosophy uh, concerning it. When we believe something, we accept that there is a chance that it's not true, but we have faith nonetheless that it is true. Like, it's weird to talk about having faith in things that you know. Like, I know that this water is not going to poison me if I drink it. Whereas if I say that I have faith that this water will not kill me if I drink it, now I'm not so sure I'm gonna drink it. But what really bugs me about the question, do you believe in God, is not that there are many more interesting questions surrounding that question, like why do we ask it and what does believe mean, is the motivation behind asking that question. So people who have asked that question to me or to other people, I'm just curious, why do you want to know? Because it seems like there's only, really only two reasons to want to know the answer to that question. One, because you're not sure yourself, and you're trying to inform your opinion, and you think that I'm some kind of authority. To those people, I say, thank you uh, for thinking that I'm an authority on this. I am not, and uh, that's going to have to be something that you figure out on your own, and if anybody's telling you different, uh, then they're wrong. This is a question for you to answer for yourself. There's kind of a 1.5 here, which is that you want to reinforce your beliefs and you want to feel like, oh, Hank, he believes the same thing as me, so now I feel better about my beliefs. Well, that's not actually going to work uh, for you. You have to feel good about your beliefs for your own sake. So basically, 1 and 1.5, I'm not going to help you with that. Uh, you gotta have to figure it out on, on your own. And the second reason to ask uh, if someone is uh, believes in God is kind of as a shortcut to think that you know more about that person because of a, a very simple answer, which is dangerous. This is the kind of pattern recognition that we do constantly as people. We try to categorize things, and that's usually really useful until you start dealing with people. Sometimes I feel like when someone asks me if I believe in God, it's like a blind person asking if I'm black so that they could put me in the right category. People are constantly searching for little things that they can use as markers to identify how and what people are. Like, gay people are all like this, Christians are all like this, atheists are all like this, and that is, I mean, duh, that's really dangerous. And so that's my biggest fear, it's that people are asking because they want to uh, inform their opinions of me with this little one-word answer that says so very little about who I actually am. After you've formed a strong opinion of who I am and understand how I live my life, that's when I'll be comfortable telling you about my beliefs and practices, which is that I am a Satan worshiper who feeds on the blood of newborn unicorns. John, I will see you on Friday.